It's official. We are live. Ready Player One, hello world. Welcome to Ready Layer One. <laughs> uh, this is the beginning of a three day week, a uh, three day week followed by a long hackathon uh, that we've put together in a remarkably short period of time. And I hope you guys are very excited for it. Uh, so my role here is basically just to kind of warm things up and get you guys going, get you oriented, give you an understanding of why are we here, what the heck is this, and more or less, how can you take advantage of it, specifically as a participant. So I had a chance, <laughs> I, hope, I hope you guys got excited uh, to sort of take a dip back into the, the Ready Player one. Uh, please don't sue us, anyone. Uh, we, this was entirely unintentional, but uh, it's kind of the mythology of, of everything that was uh, it was an interesting inspiration for where we are today, uh, and, and definitely a theme that we thought would be a pretty cool one to, to build this conference around. So I'm not James Halliday, but uh, the premise of Ready Layer One as well, or Ready Player One as well, is, is a pretty interesting one. As, as you know, you've, if, if you've read the book or seen the movie, you understand that it's, it's, a, it's a cool vision of the future, uh, but it's one that's actually fundamentally flawed. Uh, it's it's based on an entirely centralized system. It's vulnerable in all of the same ways as an entirely centralized system is. Literally the difference between a future with so many ads you're on the verge of a seizure and uh, having having a kid, a naive kid running an entire trillion dollar empire is, is basically just an Easter egg hunt. Um, but there's a reason that we love it. Um, we're... We embrace the futurism of it. We embrace escapism, the technology, and frankly, the freedom, this idea that you can rebuild this digital life for yourselves. There's a reason for people who build spaceships dream in sci-fi. There's a reason that people in this space are disproportionately made up of gamers and futurists and anarchists and visionaries. Like a rocket to a distant star, we have to build a bridge and bring the rest of humanity with us. And now is the time. And that's what this is really all about. So today, the setting for all of this is that we're, well, most of us, maybe all of us, are currently at home. Uh, we have, haven't had haircuts in a long time, as you can probably tell, uh, because of COVID. And so oddly, we're, we're strangely close to this fully digital world already. We go to con concerts on gaming platforms. Uh, we've, we build digital worlds. I mean, you can see that there's the, the, the Fortnite concerts, Minecraft concerts. Uh, we've, we've been participating in, in a new lit wave of Zoom meetings, uh, everything, right? So today is, is ready layer one. Um, COVID really did throw every, everything for a loop. We had a, an entire summer of conferences and events lined up where the whole community was really excited to get together. And obviously, this entire thing got thrown out the window as soon as, as, soon as we all got rocked by COVID. Uh, so what we wanted to do when, when we got this thing going was we really wanted to try and figure out how do we get things back on track? How do we bring the community together in a way that's, that's not just throwing on a vanilla conference and, and, and you know, kind of, kind of taking the path that everyone else is, is going to tread? Uh, we really wanted to try and do something that was ultimately going to be special and also just given the sort of the macro context of everything was really going to be about collaboration, not competition. So right now is a, a special time in the layer one space. So uh, just for everyone who's, who's out there who might not be familiar, what is a layer one to start with? Um, it's basically the backbone infrastructure of blockchain-based systems, right? Yeah, blockchains have all different shapes and sizes and they're all trying to solve the same fundamental challenges that have held us back. And, on t and they're the platforms on which everything else is going to be built. Uh, layer one, uh, it had a kind of a false start in the early days of Ethereum. Uh, we went through the ICO boom. We had the vision of tokenize everything and put it on the blockchain. And we've been in a winter for a long time since then. And to be honest, I think we've all become a little bit jaded. Maybe we haven't as the creators, but I think definitely a lot of the observers have, have become a little bit more jaded. Uh, and I'm not just talking about a price winter. I'm also talking about a shipping winter. I mean, it's been a long time since we've really had a lot to get excited about in this space. Um, but at the same time, this whole winter has actually shaken out a lot of the weak hands. And during this time, many of us were all quietly building. We're all like, like sort of ducks floating across the, the surface of the pond, right? The, the legs are moving below the surface as quickly as, as they can. Uh, so this is the year where things are actually starting to become real. There are so many of these exciting projects that are coming to market. 
and and more quietly this time than I think we did uh, as an industry during the last boom in, in 2017, I think we're really gearing up to actually realize some of the original vision of the community in its earliest days, the things that really brought us together. Well, uh, as I said, it's a little bit different than a typical, a typical concert or <laughs> than a typical conference. Uh, so Mark Andreessen said, recently, uh, it's time to build. And he had, a, he had a whole blog post about it, which is actually worth checking out and had a lot of play in the press and a lot of good conversation around it. Um, and so it means that it's more than just the ready that, that, that the layer one protocols are ready to ship. It's more than, than we're kind of just getting started on the base layer, but it's actually a time when as a developer, as an entrepreneur, the technology is in a place where you can get started. And that's really cool. Um, so, so it's time to build isn't just it's time to build layer one protocols and try and figure out how to start from the ground up. It's time to build means it's time for you to build. It's time for you as a developer. And that is a pretty cool place to be. So this conference is about building. Uh, it's not really meant to feel like a real conference. As we like to say, it, it's kind of you think of it as, as this crazy intersection between a hackathon, a conference, a masterclass seminar, and some sort of vaguely anarchist festival in the desert for developers and builders of the decentralized web. Um, so as an attendee, you can actually host your own workshops. You can host pop-up talks. Uh, you can network with other people via video chat, and we'll kind of talk about that, how that all works in just a second. Um, but basically, uh, you know, th this is a playground that we've tried to do our best to both recreate what's possible in a real world conference setting while avoiding some of the things you probably hate about it. But there are also some things that are that are unique about this that we really want to try and culturally bring into it that you don't normally get in a virtual conference. Um, so unlike a conference, we, we really want this to be focusing on collaboration. So what this means, you know, as, as I showed before, this is this whole event is a collaboration among a whole bunch of different projects. And, and it's also the workshops that we're running, the talks that we're running, uh, the, the, the speaker series, everything is really built around this idea of, of bring everyone together and try to try to build things instead of shilling instead of talking about coins, talking about trading, uh, trying try sort of that, that, that sort of desperate networking uh, mentality that you get at, I think, a lot of these other conferences. We really want to make this about the builders building together. Uh, so from that perspective, we've asked every speaker to keep grounded in as much concrete reality as possible. Uh, and and if, if not, that at least the talk is linked to a workshop later so that if you're watching a talk on the main stage, you know that you can get your hands dirty and actually get some code written and built after that talk is completed. Uh, one of one of the, the third one that you can see on there is maybe one of the most unusual. And, and that's this idea of, of not just participation, but also presence and immediacy. And, and this is a principle that, that was borrowed definitely from a vaguely anarchist festival in the desert. Um, but, but really the idea is that if at all possible, really try to do more than just have a talk sitting up with your headphones piped on and email on one side, Slack on the other side, and, and you know, some, I don't know, some Netflix video in the middle. Um, re really, as much as you can, please try to be as present as possible. Uh, a lot of what we're gonna do is going to be recorded and is gonna be available afterwards, but many things are not. We've deliberately decided that we wanna try and keep certain aspects of this experience only. Uh, and, and that especially applies to a lot of the, um, the smaller talks and the workshops and things like that. So, uh, we, we, you know, from that perspective, uh, we really wanted to, uh, to try and design this in a way that encouraged that as well. So we have things, we have Easter eggs that are sort of hidden throughout. Uh, there are going to be, there are going to be special talks that aren't announced. Uh, there are going to be opportunities for you to drop into rooms and just see what's happening and you never know what's happening. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of interesting things that, that if you're into it, if you really embrace this idea of, of immediacy and presence and participation, uh, that you actually get your hands dirty, you get into the code, uh, you're going to find some pretty cool stuff here that you probably wouldn't actually get, even if it was an in-person uh, event. So the details, uh, so this is three days long. Uh, there are workshops, there are sessions. Uh, the sessions are actually community driven, which is really cool. So we've had a whole bunch of uh, workshops be submitted by people in the community. And we also have uh, a lot of the, the sessions themselves are, are wide open. I mean, basically the, the hop-in platform as Ashley is going to show you are, uh, is actually a very strong platform for designing uh, and, and setting up your own workshops. And, and we really wanted to try and let you go and express yourself. There are 3,000 people 
who are, who are attending this, which is a plenty of people who, who if, you, if you have something kind of crazy that you want to build a workshop around or a session, even if you missed or if you really loved the workshops, there's going to be a hackathon afterwards. And uh, so that goes from May 6th till 13th. Uh, so feel free, the last few sessions are actually geared towards making that hackathon happen. Uh, so if they're available, uh, I, I, I want to highlight the team that, that you may or may not be able to see. Hopefully you'll, you'll get a chance to see them both uh, during the course of this. This has been an, a crazy journey coming together. Uh, we, like I said, we have 3,000 people. We have over 100 speakers, and this was all put together in about five weeks, which to my knowledge, I, I, I've never seen anything like this. So uh, as, as, as is Keanu Reeves, I'm blown away. Uh, so I want to introduce Ash, Ash Crawford, and Dustin Goodwin, who you're going to see a lot of. Um, I think that they, they maybe have a few things that they're going to say and, and be able to talk to you guys uh, about. Hi, so I'm Ash. I uh, am the organizer of this event, and I would love to walk you through how Hopin is going to work for you guys. Um, so if you're having video issues, which I know quite a few of you are, uh, use Chrome and just bear with us. Uh, I think Eric's network was lagging out a little bit. Sorry, Eric. Uh, hopefully you guys can see me. Um, so basically the way this is going to work is the red live button on the left over there, I hope I'm pointing to the left, is actually going to tell you, nope, not, nope, okay, uh, is going to tell you whenever um, an event is happening in that section. We have a full schedule for you guys, so there should always be something going on unless it's like after 8 p.m. PST, I think is when it stops. I don't know, it's all blurring together, you guys. Um, but basically the way it'll work is this is the stage. You'll be able to chat here in the stage and you guys can talk and chat and we can respond. So I can see that Samuel Dare said that Brave works just fine. Good to know. Uh, on the left, there's also sessions. Sessions are individual breakout sessions that, and workshops that will be happening. We have a pre-allocated amount from predetermined speakers, as well as the ability for you guys to host your own pop-up sessions and workshops as you so desire. Uh, the button will be in the top right to add your own session, but we highly encourage you to check out the content that we've, that we've pre-curated for you and see if there's anything that inspires you. Um, uh, as well as that, we have a really cool feature called networking, which is kind of like, a, I don't know, the best way to describe it is like when you're in a, like a, a, a conference and you walk through the hall and you run into somebody and you're like, oh, hi, or you're at the bar lobby at a conference and you're like, I'm so-and-so. So basically the way that this will work is you'll click that and you'll be able to network with people and it'll flash you through um, about three minutes is what we have it set to where you'll talk to somebody for three minutes and then you'll go to the next person. You can also share information with each other that way. Um, Back to the sessions, I forgot something. You can actually, as a participant, and we do not call you attendees because you are participants of this, this beautiful Ready Layer One, uh, you will be able to request to join all of the pre-curated talks. And if you have a question and you wanna ask face-to-face, -face, you absolutely can. The event organizer for each uh, individual session will pull you live if they so desire, and you'll be able to talk on their platform with them. So. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, you should post them in the chat right now. Last call out, we have instructions in the reception. We also have information on if there's moderation issues, if you need to report somebody, uh, if you are having like browser issues, if you're having video issues, all of this is in the reception. So if you click that and read that, the information is there. If you need anything, please feel free to ping an organizer or DM me on here on Hopin. Uh, so click the people tab, you can filter by organizers and you can send a private message that way. Um, that's what I've got. Welcome to Ready Layer One. Awesome. Thanks, Ash. Well, I uh, just want to make an introduction. I'll be taking you through this journey of Ready Layer One. I'll be your MC for the event. Really excited that already 525 of you are online watching this. So super excited for next steps and yeah, um, excited for the upcoming event. If there's any questions, now is the time when we will answer them because we have a couple of minutes till our next talk. Yep, so you can ask in the chat. And there's about a 10 second lag, so we might not see a question for no, about 10 seconds. No, we see questions instantly, actually. Oh, okay. It's 10 second lag for us to respond. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, a lot of work did go into the past five weeks. That is for, for very, very, very much so. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I don't know about you guys, Eric and Dustin, but I've been waking up consistently at 4 a.m. with like spreadsheet nightmares. It's been great. <laughs> yeah, it's it, you know, been long days for sure. So Matt wants to know what hair product you're using this morning, Dustin. Um, I'm some kind of pomade. It looks good though, right? 
doing a good job. <laughs> no haircuts, it makes it a definitely a little bit more difficult. So recordings will be available one week from now and they'll be posted on the Ready Lear One YouTube, which we will send information on in the emails that we send you guys. Um, so the, the person who put together this intro video is Leo. Leo, are you in the chat by chance? Uh, I can't pronounce his last name. Do you know how to pronounce Leo's last name, Eric or Dustin? I don't. I don't have it. No. Okay. Well, he's freaking fantastic, and he's 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 awesome. It'll the intro vid will also be posted to the Ready Layer One uh, YouTube. What's the best one for best way for someone to help contribute to the cause if you can't code? Well, you should just take a part in the um, the sessions. There's a lot of business like and founders investing, uh, how to start a business, how to like run a business. All of these are different talks that are happening in the sessions. I highly advise you check them out. Um, and recordings will be available one week after this. As well as sessions, I saw a question for this, sessions last one hour. So if you're creating a pop-up session, it can be as long as you like, but it will be open for an hour whenever you make it. Uh, the networking tab on the left works by clicking it and you connect to somebody in there. Don't do it right now or you're going to leave here. Anytime you click anything on the left, it takes you to a new page. Leo Yu, that is who, uh, that is who made this video. Um, he's right there and his name is Leo, so you guys should thank him because that video is awesome. Just if, uh, you know, if for whatever reason a talk freezes or you can't get into something, just refresh the page. Um, Hopin takes, uh, takes a lot of bandwidth and sometimes it just freezes up and all you have to do is refresh. So keep that uh, refresh button handy throughout the event. Also sessions, you guys, as I said, I saw a question for the sessions. Can we join in the chat? There's a, a private session chat versus the event chat as well as the ability for you to request in the top right there'll be a blue button that says share or request or something and it'll let you pull your screen onto the the uh, the organizer's like presentation but they have to they have to permit you so convince them in chat uh, there are specific networking times during the agenda yes where do unannounced talks happen they'll be happening in the sessions tab whenever it's live Sorry, guys, I'm not trying to hog the stage time here. I'm just trying to answer You're all the questions. Rocking. You're doing okay. great. That, uh, that previous Twitch partner experience coming in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, I guess I can definitely say that, that she may have a lot of experience with this, but most of us, most of us who are talking, uh, most of us who are attending workshops, who are running workshops, are not Twitch streamers by nature. So please bear with us. That was one thing I wanted to know was embrace the chaos, please. Um, because things will go wrong. There's no question. We've already had a hiccup or five uh, on the way in here and that's and that's totally fine. Um, so just uh, you know, go with the flow and refresh your screen and all will be well. Uh, Zoe, you can see the topics of the workshop on the readylayer.one website. If you click the agenda, there's a detailed breakdown of all the sessions that are happening in each one. Unfortunately, Hopin doesn't let us put like the detailed breakdown of each session happening inside of the session, so we've made it work. You're wearing your purple hoodie now? A Twitch shout out. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think that's uh, all the questions that we have right now. Is that correct? And then we have about nine minutes before we go to the next talk. So if you guys want, you guys can run around and check out the platform. Networking is live at any time, but whenever it says live, there'll be more people in there. So if you guys want to go try networking for the next nine minutes, we'll post in chat when the next, uh, when the next talk is starting. There will be recordings of the sessions. Yes, they'll be posted on the Ready Layer One YouTube in one week-ish, if I have time. So you know, don't take that with like many grains of salt. We'll figure out how to get them up quickly. Yeah, we're gonna try. We will make it happen. Mountains will move. Also, <laughs> I see some shilling happening in the chat. I will ban you. Do not shill. I'm serious. Like, please guys, no shilling. This is not a shilling conference. It says it in the reception. I'll pin it back to the chat in between sessions and talks and do not shill. Do not promote your product. Do not shill. Pretty much, Michael. Yeah, I'm gonna go sleep for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so go to the network right. and we will see you there um awesome. okay cool and we'll be yep. back here in about seven more minutes. minutes cool see you there bye